Welcome. So glad you're here. As always, be the change you wish to see in the world. So it happens to be the 22nd of March 2021. And I'm continuing where I left off yesterday. So I'm very excited about the new developments in science and very happy when we work together in a coordinated manner to put uh, the world in a place that I consider ethical, humane, and caring and considerate. So, uh, as you may know, I'm here in America and I have a lot of American values, not all of them are American. Um, I appreciate many different cultures, I'm inclusive, and I promote the values of appreciating all life, the pursuit of happiness, liberty, freedom of speech, uh, open commerce, but also an interdisciplinary study, appreciating making the laws fair, and doing things in a fair way. So here uh, I wanted to give you a couple of examples because I, I wanted to say the last video that I did yesterday I did rather quickly and uh, I got to the point and I was very descriptive and sometimes my words were very emphatic and I guess some of the pictures uh, were such that even though I marked my videos as not for children, they've now decided that you have to be at least 18 to view that particular one. But all the videos I have are marked not for children, so you go tell me. So I guess it would be pretty upsetting if I said something like, you know, uh, this is a story and it's not true and it's meant to help you understand a pagan holiday and yada yada. That would be pretty upsetting. So, I'm not going to say that. But I'm going to tell you, this is not science fiction. This is real. And I'm going to get real with you. And uh, so, what can I say? Let's be fair, right? Let's be fair in our analysis. Let's be truthful and honest. So I put down the truth, and, you know, sometimes people don't want to hear the truth. Let's take the example of what's been going on in the world. A lot of things have been going on in the world, and there are different players in the international field, some of whom believe that People must be micromanaged and controlled, and they will not allow YouTube to be in their country. They will not allow Facebook to be in their country. They feel like it might empower the people too much, and they do not like democracy. They do not like American values of truth, justice, and the American way. They do not like the constitution or the freedom of religion or the freedom of speech but they do like the land and the market and the money so what do they want to do you've got to push you've got to pull you want to pay the piper the, pi the piper's playing you. Let's say the piper has bought 30% of the stock in Alphabet and a percentage of Facebook. Now they're telling them, listen, we could sell and dump the stock tomorrow. And then what? So uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's layers people don't know about. And I'm just talking about some layers that are going on. And I'm really happy about the layers that are going on. You know why I'm happy about the layers that are going on? Because I appreciate 
free discourse. And I appreciate the fact that you can go in a court of law and you can file a suit. A perfect example of that is the, the hot coffee suit. It's highly publicized and there was a smear campaign put against the woman who was severely with third degree burns all over her lap between herself uh, criticized. And uh, I'm not going to get into that too much, but I suggest you watch the movie or read the book because you might think you know all about the case and you don't. It, people joke about it. And uh, the truth of the matter is these big corporations don't want you holding them responsible. Another case is about a food production company that ruined an entire town and also took a bunch of victims. And it's a true story. Uh, I believe it was in upstate New York. It's an old movie, a 1998 movie called A Civil Action. A book was written about it. It shows the attorneys trying to be hero and trying to get justice for his clients. A very moving, true story. And stuff like that goes on all the time. You know, you hear about criminal cases too. And this has to do with your health. Your, your protections of your health. If they didn't have the system of checks and balances, and by the way, they have an international court as well, and I just ran a search for pictures of that, and I wanted to say that I really care about humanity. I'm very excited about humanity moving forward and taking it to the next level. We're learning so much in science, and unfortunately, sometimes corporations take a life on of their own, and they focus too much on earning money, on spreading their tentacles, and not enough on doing the right thing and being just, because they have a long-term goal <coughs> of pleasing maybe unethical people or other entities that are trying to call the shots and the reason they're doing it is because they want money they want business they want to continue to grow and expand but at what cost right it could have unintended consequences if we just go willy-nilly into something and I was so so excited about the responsible uh, thoughtful way that people were thinking about solutions to the problems and going out and doing things. They're writing books. They're talking about alternatives to uh, polluting and plant-based diet, plant-based plant medicines. And I was so excited about it. I happen to be on a been plant-based since 2013. And uh, it's working for me. It's reduced my stuff. And so I'm really excited. Put the links below. And I wanted to say there's some other things you can look into that might help understand, help you understand what's going on if you don't already. You may, you may already know. But I thought I'd share in case somebody else doesn't know. And I thought it was so wonderful that we can move forward. And I think everybody ought to have a right to believe what they want to believe. And I don't want any... I've marked every one of my videos not for children. I don't know why they did this to my... I, I think I'm being targeted, and I think part of it has to do with the fact that I'm a female. Because I've noticed some, very, uh, some other intelligent females on here... And uh, doctors that are being demonetized and censored. So, you know, here I am trying to help humanity empower themselves, optimize their health. Think about wise choices. Think about organic farming. Think about the environment. Think about caring for everyone, um, not being prejudiced of people because of what their DNA says, or even animals, right? 
and trying to solve the problems in the world. But unfortunately, other people or entities don't feel the same way and they're more about the money. So what can I say? So let me just show you this one quick thing that you might want to read. The link's going to be below. Hopefully the link will work. But it is a short book written by Tim Wu. He's, I, did a, I did a video on him. I'll put it below. This is a really good book. It's short and sweet. I read it in a day. You can read it on an airplane when you're taking a long flight. It's a great book and it's about reality and uh, about the big companies. So, whoops, that's a pop-up. Anyway, so this link is below. The law, the policies, the politics, the international things that are going on, what's in the pipeline. This is what I'm talking about, things that you can benefit from. Understanding how the law works. Understanding the dynamics. Why did I lose my case? You know, maybe you lost a family law case. Maybe you lost a tort case. Why did you lose the tort case? Why is the law not fair? But I'm right. The law has so many formalities, so many rules. And there are lobbyists that are in uh, countries that want to sell products to make money, international conglomerates that want to sell food, they want to sell products, and they allow lobbyists to influence legislatures to make it more difficult for people to hold these companies accountable. But as humanity moves forward, we're, we're going to get our priorities straight, hopefully before things go, go uh, the wrong way, right? So keep the faith. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm still with you, albeit uh, under a lot of pressure, and I don't understand quite all the reasons. I do apologize if some of my graphics might have been too graphic. Uh, they're not, uh, I, I believe in free speech. I hope America doesn't turn uh, to become uh, the nightmare that happened, uh, you know, where people can't even say, hey, uh, there's a problem over here. We need to get help. Instead, it's allowed to escape. And it's because of the government's style and the government's priorities of money first, people second, and uh, pride, def an ego, these kind of things. And um, anyway, thanks for listening. Take care. I hope everything works out okay for everybody and that your day's going well and that your health is well and that you're able to navigate the systems that you're in. Not everybody's in the United States. Uh, the United States, you know, it's like the grass is greener on the other side. Each country, each place you're at has different rules, different beliefs, and sometimes those uh, beliefs or interests uh, run counter to what you find ethical or sound or even reasonable, and you ask yourself, how can this be? Are we worshiping something other than, you know, you've heard the story of the golden calf, I would think, and the Ten Commandments. Uh, that's a pretty old ancient story in the Old Testament, and it's shared with, it's the beginning of laws, you know, it's ancient laws, which were written as scripture, but it's about priorities, about choosing to do things that are going to promote well-being for the entire collective and community. And one of those things is asking ourselves, uh, is this right? Is this just? Is this ethical? Is there a better way? Can we improve? Can we learn from our mistakes? Are big corporations um, sending a message about being responsible? Are the courts sending a message? 
was this case appealed and overturned. Um, you you can look into it. A, a lot of times with these cases with damages, there really are no winners, and the big companies have the big deep pockets to keep fighting and fighting. Uh, you'll have to see the movie to see what happened, um, and I don't want to ruin it for you. But we can progress, and we are progressing, and the earth is changing right along with us, and so are people. People adapt and change a lot slower than uh, microorganisms. The really tiniest ones, they mutate a lot more often. But we are influenced by our environment, and we're part of a macro system. And thank you for listening. I'm really excited about this. Unfortunately, I signed up for a regular one, and I don't know that I have a choice where I live. They're going to give me what they're going to give me, and I, I've got to take that or leave it. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Take care. Love you lots. Bye.